Hey guys, just wanted to make a video to give you guys a first look at the new Wilson Pro Lab rackets for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or aren't up to date with any of the new racket releases. Wilson has surprisingly launched an online exclusive line of rackets on their official website. It's their kind of entry into the pro stock market or a way of giving them a reason to re-release old and unreleased models. All these models are targeted towards high intermediate to advanced players or just racket lovers who already know about it. There is a total of 5 models which are the classic Wilson Pro Staff 6195 in an 1820 pattern, the Wilson Ultra Pro and the Wilson Blade Pro that come in both a 1619 and an 1820. The Pro Staff 6195 was discontinued back around 2014 I believe and over the years they made two reissues of the model at a significantly lower price which were the K-Factor K95 and the BLX version. This time around they are reusing what is supposed to be the Hyper Pro Staff which was released in the early 2000s and if I'm not mistaken is what Del Portra has used for many years or something very very similar. Aside from that, it's probably the one I'm most excited to play with as my first real player frame was an N-Code 6195 which I used when I was 15 years old. It's a bit of a questionable decision in terms of their pricing given that the model underneath the new paint job is just the old Hyper Pro staff and that they would charge a full premium price of 370 Australian dollars which is equivalent to about 265 USD and that is also the same amount that it costs you to get a new RF97 which is their most premium and potentially one of their best selling rackets of all time. The most touted racket that's probably being released in this bunch is the Blade Pro which is actually not a blade at all but a model that has never been released to the mass market and based off a racket model called the H22 which is the racket that Djokovic used to win the Australian Open in 2008 when he was with Wilson and not the K-Blade Tour or the Blade 98. It's been used on the Pro Tour for many years under many different paint jobs. I won't get into the mass detail as I'm not the most knowledgeable person for this kind of stuff so I don't want to misinform anyone but basically there's a big question mark as to whether this racket will perform anywhere near as good as the pro stock version which is typically double the price of what Wilson is retailing the racket for in this Wilson Pro Labs release. Finally the Ultra Pro that was previously released in the 1820 pattern under the Ultra Tour name and renamed to the Ultra Pro for this generation. I did kind of a crap review on it before but basically this is the H19 model that Gail Monfils uses. This is a fantastic racket for advanced players but my only quirk with it was the low launch angle, the lack of spin and power without a ton of added weight to it. Now with the more open 1619 pattern if it performs similar in terms of touch and feel but gives you easier access to power and spin then I think this could be a potential switch for a racket. I'm equally excited to test all three of these rackets that I bought and I'll see if I can get my hands on the real pro stock versions as well to give you my real thoughts and comparisons. My guess is even if it doesn't perform up to scratch every step of the way on its own, I believe these rackets will be high quality performing rackets and those percentage differences are only for those who are very pedantic about its playability. But for the majority of those who never played with pro stock rackets, if the Ultra Pro 1820 is anything to go by, they are definitely going to be worth the money especially at this kind of retail price. Also I have my hands on the new Pro Staff 97 which I'll get around to eventually, just waiting for this lockdown to end which potentially could happen in a couple of weeks but once that happens I'll start pumping out more content. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram to hear any of my updates. I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later.